just chuck everything at it around these uh, final turns. But I think whatever he throws at it, it's not quite going to be enough. Uh, Babalus, who has controlled the race from the very, very start. And uh, right at the very end, Bjorn Grossman has just been delivering some incredible laps to even get on terms. But around the final turn they go, it's going to be Babalus. Matteo Santaporte then, who flashes his lights and heads towards the uh, timing line. And will take the world final race here at Mugello for Trofeo Pirelli. In the end, the gap was down to just seven tenths. James Gallardo over Bjorn Grossman. Fantastic racing, though. That was really, really good fun to watch. Very, very clever. He needed one more lap. One more lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course, we'll never know, will we'll we? Never know. Uh, how many races have we said that about? So uh, the checkered flags uh, wave then on what has been a thoroughly, thoroughly enterprising and very, very good Trofeo Pirelli race to watch. And there's Martin Nelson then, who is going to be in the Scuderia Auto Ropa team like Babalus, heading towards the timing line, but the best am is Alessandro Vezzoni. Martin Nelson will take P2 in the uh, am honours. And it's uh, Hutusoy. And we're on board with uh, Alessandro Vezzoni. Team Pellin. And uh, there's Alexis uh, Di Bernardi. Hardly seen him during the course of the race, but it's because there's been so much activity and uh, focus on what's been going on at the front of the pack. So the order then, Babalus, Grossman, Blackardi, Merckx, Carzo, Gosner. And it was Vezzoni and Nelson with Hutusoy and Nico Sturzinger rounding out the uh, top 10 in the world final race for the uh, Trofeo Pirelli cars. And still the final knock-ins of the cars crossing the uh, timing line now. Did lose a number of cars, but um, it's not quite as bruising as the uh, Copa Shell World Final race was uh, just a couple of hours ago. So a fitting finale to what has been a fantastic Trofeo Pirelli season in the uh, Ferrari Challenge and, well, the Octane 126 team down there will be... They'll be disappointed that their man, Bjorn Grossman, didn't quite get there, but by goodness, didn't he drive in chasing after this man. Babalus, who takes the victory for Scuderia Auto Ropa. And uh, Marshalls, without whom, of course, we wouldn't be racing, doing a great job as always. And, well, Grossman has got past him now, but sadly, after the, uh, the chequered flag, so... Uh, been a great race to watch and a great race to have you alongside us, James Collado. I'm going to release you now to go and uh, set about your podium duties, as I'm sure they will come. And I think over the races that we have shared, that was probably one of the better ones. Great one, yeah. And uh, I'll give you a 10 euros later. <laughs> James, thanks so Cheers. much. And uh, James will be performing for us in the uh, Ferrari show to come a little bit later on, doing what James does very, very well indeed, and that's uh, drive racing cars and uh, wish him well for uh, Bahrain in uh, the final round of his championship. So uh, there, the delight on the... Uh, on the uh, Pelin... Uh, talking to uh, Alessandro Vezzoni. <laughs> and there, down there, the... Uh, the delight. Well, wow, what a race, what a race. There's Babalus then, who takes the world final. What driving from Bjorn Grossman to take a P2, absolutely extraordinary. There's Babalus on top of the car now. <laughs> Two categories, of course, Am and uh, Pro. Babalus, Grossman, Blancardi, Merckx, Carzo, Gosner, Vezzoni, Nelson, Hutasoy, and Sturching of the top ten in the race overall. With Segler, Ferrano, Zoy, and Di Bernardi and the others. As we go to the podium now, Max Blancardi's up there, so too is Bjorn Grossman. 
but Babalus is the winner of the world final race. Piero Ferrari, the vice chairman of Ferrari, making the trophy presentation to Max Blancardi for P3. Making the trophy presentation now to uh, P2. Amadeo Felisa, the chief executive officer of Ferrari. And then making the trophy presentation to Babalus. It's Sergio Marchioni, the chairman of Ferrari. And there is the Babalus, Trofeo Pirelli Babalus, Trophy Isola, 2. Mario Isola making that uh, trophy presentation. What a race. They all get together for the uh, photographs. E è il podio. E è il Born to be Babalus. Con, uh, <laughs> fantastic banner. Well, the Trofeo Pirelli World Final Race will be uh, will go down as one of the best to watch. Been absolutely uh, fantastic, and uh, to see Babalus, Grossman, and Blancardi up there on the podium. Well, Babalus may be the winner, but an incredible drive by our P2 driver Bjorn Grossman from his earlier mistake as well. Thank you so much for watching the world final from uh, Trofeo Pirelli. And uh, stand by next season for more Ferrari Challenge action.